Hashtag Starbucks. You know, Starbucks is full of shit. You understand? Those two men getting arrested allegedly for loitering, you know, reeks of total bullshit. And then they want to have diversity training. What training is needed to how to treat people? Being black, white, Asian, Hispanic, etc. What training is needed? It's 2018. And we still rolling around in this fucking bile. It kills me, man. It really kills me because, you know, like I said, I'm a black man. You know, with kids. Um, it speaks volumes the day and age we live in. You know, it speaks volumes when people just look at you and assume that you're up to no good. You know... It hurt. It's hurtful. You understand what I'm saying? It's hurtful. Cause I'm saying to myself, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You know what I'm saying? In this day and age, a person of color still go through so much bullshit. You know, via the hiring process, the loan process. I mean, getting a loan for a car or a motorcycle. Shit that shit is shit that isn't worth it. We quick to get a loan for that. You understand, you understand, but things that have value, you know, we get a hard time on, you know, but I won't leave it at that. You know, like I said, we go through a lot and people of other ethnic groups don't really understand what we go through. Some do, you know what I'm saying? Some fucking know, some do, right? But there's some who are just clueless, like Star Starbucks. You know, I always have a model, right? When you see people doing unethical shit, underhanded, sh underhanded shit, a lot of stuff. Excuse my cursing, but it's passionate right now, and they're doing a lot of things that I feel that is irrelevant. I think people need to start out in these companies, out in the managers, the supervisors. You know why I say that? Because people need to be taught a lesson. Let them get fired from their fucking jobs. You understand? Let them. What, see what it feels like you can't pay your bills. You understand? Because we already know they got people out there who lie to get their positions, lie and screw people over. We know that. You understand? That's what I'm the type of person. I give a grinder respect. I don't give a person who sucks dick any respect. None whatsoever. Because nothing you did was earned. A grinder earns. Let me, let me clarify. If you grind it without sucking dick, let me be clear. You understand? And like I said, this day and age, diversity training, if that is needed, then you shouldn't even have a business at all. But that's the day and age we live in. You understand? And everybody always say, you know, deal with it. No, you don't got to fucking deal with it. Because when you walk in and start busting ass, then they want to incarcerate you because you're so fed up of how things are handled in society when it comes to us. But that's that just my thoughts, you understand? And, you know, like I said, having friends from all ethnic groups, you kind of see. You know, you can't, and like I said, I always tell black you can't claim racism when you don't fucking know what you're doing or when you're not trying to better yourself. You understand? The ones who could claim racism are the ones who have this, who better themselves, and they're being held down. You understand? It's still unfair, but that is the world we live in. You got to better yourself in order to get somewhere. But we also know when you better yourself and you're a threat to certain people, they'll do anything to keep you back. And that's why, and after a while, that's when you got you know, get better at your craft and build your brand as an individual and move on. 